guys, we are on the go again this weekend, and this is the only time that I have available to get this video done for you guys. So I am gonna do it as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, um, and just a fair warning, I know my car videos tend to be a little bit rambly, so I do apologize in the beginning. Okay, so we are 24 weeks pregnant with baby number three, or baby panda bear is what we are calling this baby since we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, we are just so very excited. Since we are 24 weeks, that means we have 16 weeks left. And so that is roughly four months. And this, the time has just, just gone by so fast. Like I can't even tell you how, how quickly this baby is going to be here. Um, my daughter's pregnancy seemed like it took forever and my son's pregnancy went by like pretty fast I, or I, has, I thought that it went by pretty fast but this pregnancy has flown by flown by um, in just going from appointment to appointment I have an appointment every four weeks still and just it seems like I just had an appointment like a week ago and then I had another appointment so that's how fast four weeks went by so and plus with us being busy like the summertime um, I seriously thought things were gonna slow down but with us being gone and doing stuff every weekend we are just so busy so I think that has um, part to do with it plus we are like doing stuff every day we have play dates scheduled almost every single day of the week and it's just like so we are out and about moving going and just my activity level for the end of this pregnancy is so different I talked a little bit about it in my last video um, so different than what it was with my son and my daughter's pregnancy um, the last few months we weren't as active as what I am with this pregnancy and I am feeling better um, I know I said that last video also but um, I was thinking about it and I do um, feel better I'm not as um, run down and draggy um, I still am throwing up in the morning and all of that stuff um, so that is no fun but um, as for like the body aches and all that stuff, that is all getting better. So I am super excited. Um, with my daughter's pregnancy, I was sick for the second and the third trimesters, but the last month I felt better with her pregnancy. And with my sons, I was sick in the beginning and then I slowly got better and better and better and better and better. So um, this pregnancy is um, like for not feeling well is getting better. I, I still don't have any headaches, so that is a huge plus for me. Um, and I just, it's awesome. Um, something major that's happened this week is that I did have a appointment. So that went well. Um, we are measuring two weeks ahead, but that does not surprise me because that is how it was with my son and my daughter's pregnancy. Um, we were consist consistently measuring two weeks ahead um, with each of them. So that wasn't surprising. Um, I'm not expecting a large baby or anything like that. Um, I, my daughter was seven pounds, three ounces, and she came out with two pushes, and my son was eight, eight, and he came out in four pushes. So um, ideally, <laughs> ideally, um, I'm looking for right around an eight pound baby. Um, that's probably ideal for my body and everything. Um, and all of that kind of stuff. That way we can get baby out safely and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so anyways, um, I am thinking more about birth plan and all of that stuff. And at my appointment, um, we did talk about birth plan and uh, just kind of how everything's going. Um, just, just different stuff we talked about and um, made some notes and it kind of gives uh, me time to think about stuff so that's what we're going to be talking about at my upcoming appointments with my doctor is um, how I want things to go how are things like um, progressing and all that stuff so um, baby number three is super active super active just as active and rolling around as my daughter was um, my son did not move as much as my daughter did um, and it did not move as much as this baby has and I'm thinking that this baby is moving a whole lot more than what my daughter did. Um, but baby does not move unless I am sitting and doing 
nothing. And with my varicose veins in my legs, I have been doing more um, sitting and putting my feet up. I try to do it in the morning, I try to do it in the afternoon, and I try to do it in the evening. And that is when like this little guy or gal just goes crazy. Um, it's just, it's so incredible to watch and everything. You can like, it is huge movements where you can see them. Um, they are all over the place, everywhere. Baby is flipping around in there and is just, oh. So the kids, um, my daughter and my son are giving baby bear hugs. So that is completely adorable. They love to come and hug and kiss my belly, which is just, it's so cute. Um, I want to get a picture of the two of them, like hugging my belly, and then get a picture after baby number three comes of the two of them, like hugging baby. So I'm starting to think of like pictures and all that stuff. And I'm just getting so excited. And with the last two, it was like, okay, you have a while, you have a while. But since this pregnancy is going by so fast, it's just, it's gonna be here sooner than I know it. So I'm starting to plan and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I do have some baby buys coming, which I will show you once I can do a sit down at home vlog instead of a vlog in a car. Um, but, so everything with baby is going fabulous. Um, he or she is just, it's just, it's so much fun, like, just being pregnant, and I, I like being pregnant, um, even though I don't feel well, um, the headache part really got me, but, like, now that the headache part is done and over with, and I can just enjoy this pregnancy, um, it's, like, there's the potential for this to be my last pregnancy, um, I don't know. <laughs> Um, my husband says we're probably done after this one. I do want four kids, but we shall see. So I'm just trying to enjoy this as much as possible and just take it all in and just remember all of this stuff. So it's just crazy. Okay, so now to some of the not so fun parts about me being pregnant. Um, I do have officially varicose veins in my right leg. I do not have any um, veins popping out or spider veins in my left leg. Um, and my doctor said that that was odd to just have it in one leg, that he's always seen it in both legs. Um, it's, it might be more severe in one leg than it is in the other. However, um, if you have it in one leg that he said that usually it'll come out in the other leg too. And he's surprised that since it has gotten so bad on my right leg that it hasn't shown up or popped up on my left. So, um, I've been, um, asking lots and lots of questions. I was so excited for my appointment because I got to ask all about it. And I asked my doctor if I had any hopes of the varicose veins resolving themselves on their own. And he said, yeah, you have two hopes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have two hopes. And he said, slim and none. So that was his little practical joke for the day. Um, so anyways, so the only way that they might get better um, after baby number three's pregnancy, um, that is what has been the case with my last two pregnancies. Um, I did get some of the veins popping out um, during the last part of my son and my daughter's pregnancy with my after my daughter's pregnancy they completely went away after my son's pregnancy they kind of went away and so I'm guessing they are going to stick around after this pregnancy but um, the only way that he foresees me getting rid of like all the spider veins that have shown up just in the last four weeks I have tons and tons and tons of spider veins like my leg looks purple the only time that the veins look um, good is when my leg is elevated and so I've been trying to do elevation and um, like natural things um, uh, but right now I am going to be getting a compression um, sleeve for my right leg that is about all I can do to help prevent the varicose veins getting worse. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, or doing a wrap um, with uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> wrap around um, my leg 
for compression to try to keep those veins going. Um, but I will do a video on everything that I found out and all that kind of stuff, but that's just an update of how that's going. Otherwise, I feel awesome, except in the morning, and everything with baby looks and is going fantastic. So I could not ask for anything more right now, and it's just awesome. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them below. Um, if you have any more questions on how I do things now with two kids, um, leave you can leave that below any of the videos and I will try to get um, a video up for you guys on how we do stuff with our two kids before baby number three comes. Um, but yeah, anyways, you all have a fantastic weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.